video here showed us how to uh, I can move myself back up here. Um, last video here we showed us how to deal with bathrooms or put this picture in so I can kind of figure out what's going on in the bathroom. So let's move on to putting this bathroom together. Starting out, looking at the bathroom, the tub is a standard size tub. And then the toilet goes in there, pretty standard. And then we can choose our cabinets that we're going to be putting in there and in our sink. So we're figuring this out. If I take a peek here, um, tub, this is the faucet right over here. So we're going to put a tub in here. We're going to put the toilet in. Toilets from a tub to the center of the toilet should be 15 to 18 inches. And then from the center of the toilet to the wall or to the cabinet should be 15 to 18 inches. If it's an enclosed wall, it should be 18 inches. So if this was like a toilet room or sometimes these are called WCs on a plan because it's called a water closet. I have no idea why they call it a water closet. But if you see WC on the plan, you know what they're talking about. So we set this up as our standard tub here. So our first thing we're going to do is put in a tub. So I am going to go to my components, search 3D warehouse, and um, that's a 5-0 bathtub or a 5-foot bathtub, and they're 30 inches wide for a standard tub. So I'm going to do 30x60 bathtub. And there's a standard 30 by 60 bathtub. Um, as you can see, there's shower stalls, all this kind of stuff. Sterling is a company, so those are actual their shower stalls. It's kind of cool. Um, but here's my standard bathtub. I'm just going to pop this standard bathtub in. How I put this bathtub in is a little bit different than most, probably. So I need to get this corner on this corner, but I also need to get this corner and this corner down here. So I'm going to start out by grabbing this front bottom corner and I'm going to stick it right on this wall corner. Boom. And it puts it in that space. Now I just have to move it on one axis. It's at the right height. Just move it on one axis. And I slide it straight in. It's on the green axis. What I can do is tap the left arrow key and it will keep it on the green axis. And I can click it and put it in place there. So now I have my bathtub in place. It doesn't have a surround on it, so the surround is the walls. So you could make some some um, tile walls. Right now, we're gonna. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. And there is my bathtub. 